uh, say inconsistent. You know, I saw I saw some some better things overall, but still the mark of inconsistency still we battle. You said the offense started slow. Does that mean the defense started fast? Well, we did a good job uh, in, in terms of keeping them out of the end zone and forcing field goals. Uh, but they, they moved the ball on us um, early. But, uh, hey, that's that's part of becoming a good defense. You know, keep them out of the end zone, forcing field goals. So um, we'll play that as a, as a positive the best we can. Did you see a step forward from the previous scrimmage to this one? I think so. Yeah. Yes. Could you tell that you know the things that they that you had brought to their attention that they would really focused in on? And well, I mean, it really comes down to us. Uh, it's always effort and execution. So making sure that you know we have a focus um, to execute, and certainly the effort part always needs to be in place. So emotionally, you got to be right. So I think they were more focused today and directed at the scrimmage and not uh, not thinking about other things at times. So we were better. As a coach, how do you coach guys in forcing turnovers? Well, we work it all the time. We work it through circuits. We certainly um, emphasize in individual drills. Um, you know, we call them ball disruptions and try to make um, you know big issue with that with the defense. Uh, we highlight those situations and let them see it. So we we try to drive home the importance of taking the ball away. Any players who are standing out in that regard? No, nobody that really sticks out. Some guys have really created some, you know, D. Smith's created some really good habits in his attempts to create ball disruptions. And um, you know, C.J. Avery, I see see him becoming more consistent uh, and just making that natural relative to moving to a tackle. But a lot of guys have gotten better. Uh, we'll get more people to the ball, which is a big part of that. So, um, but, but we've got to keep uh, we've got to keep emphasizing it. No bigger stat in football than the turnover. Right when it feels level, then you go on winning. So, Coach, do you, uh, your system will you rotate uh, not just up front, but even some like the outside guys? Do you want to see? Obviously, you want to keep guys fresh. How how do you kind of manage that? I guess maybe with the ends, Jonathan on one end, and how do you kind of manage guys who are, who are who are in and out of the game? Well, we'll kind of look at you know where we feel they are right now. A guy like John, you know, we have. Uh, evaluations from a year ago to kind of look at how many plays he played. We try to give a number to guys um, that, that we think they can play hard for whatever that number is and then substitute according and try to be pretty darn close to that, you know, in the end. But D-line, you know, you have to substitute and play play the big guys. But remember, this is uh, this is my first game with the guys, too. I got to see how, you know, how they react to, uh, to a game situation. So... It's very fluid relative to our personnel. Everybody has to stay on the ready. A uh, guy that you know earns it, you know, he'll start the game with more the idea of more playing time relative to some of those guys. But uh, you got to go out and do it. You know, uh, guys that are doing it, we'll keep them on the field as much as we can. Coach Petrino said last week at Media Day that Dumerville is a guy that has got so much potential, but you're trying to get him on and off the field and different things. What have you seen from him? From the big guy in the middle. Yeah, I think the last, you know, eight, ten days, he's really grown into college football. He's more of a college football player right now. Um, so during that time, it's he's become, you know, he's become a factor in what we're considering moving forward. And we just got to keep keep driving him with the idea that, um, you know, college football is fast tempo and it's moving and. Um, it's something that he has to adjust to and get good with. But I, I like the player. The player is ascending right now. Who are some of those other guys that end uh, other than John? I'm sorry? Who are some of the other guys uh, stepping in at end other than John? Uh, um, we've got Caban. We've got Gary. Gary McCray uh, playing in. We're still trying to bring along, you know, J.J. Young player. You know, so we've got, we've got some numbers there. But, um, you know, T.P., has done a good job. We got some numbers there, you know, to use, and, and some guys with some experience that that we'll trust and lean on. But everybody on the ready—that's the way it has to be. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right.